It's time for today's Bible story, and it comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 39. Joseph was a man who loved God very much. He obeyed God in every situation, and Joseph got into some pretty hairy situations. Now, we already know about the whole bros trading him for money thing. That wasn't cool. But God was watching over Joseph. And even in that situation, Joseph did very well. He became one of his master's most trusted servants. That was until his master's wife told a lie about Joseph. That wasn't cool either. She made up a story about Joseph that his master believed. So Joseph found himself locked up in prison. It was another hairy situation, but God was watching over Joseph even then. So even in prison, he did very well. Soon, he was put in charge of all the other prisoners. It just so happened that the Pharaoh, basically the king of Egypt, got mad at the royal cupbearer and baker and threw them into prison with, guess who? Yep, you got it with Joseph. Then one night, they both had dreams they couldn't understand. But God gave Joseph a special gift of knowing what dreams meant. For the cupbearer, his dream meant good things. He dreamt about a vine budding with big delicious grapes. In his dream, he squeezed the grapes into a cup and served them to Pharaoh. Joseph told him the dream meant he was going to get his job back with the Pharaoh. For the baker, his dream meant bad things. He dreamed about having baskets of delicious bread sitting on top of his head. But birds were coming up and eating the bread. Joseph told him the bad news. Death. Everything that Joseph said about the dreams came true. Joseph spent two more years in prison but God was still watching over him. Then Pharaoh had two dreams that Pharaoh couldn't understand. Suddenly, the cupbearer remembered Joseph and told Pharaoh about him. Joseph was brought to the Pharaoh and he told Pharaoh what his dreams meant. Now, Pharaoh's dreams were crazy. In one of them, seven skinny cows ate seven fat cows. And in the other dream, seven small dying bushels of wheat ate seven large, healthy bushels of wheat. Joseph told Pharaoh that the dreams meant that they would have seven years of a lot of food and seven years of very little food. So what they should do, they should get ready for the seven bad years by saving up food during the seven good years. Pharaoh was so thankful that he put Joseph in charge of the palace. Soon Joseph would be the second most powerful person in Egypt. It was a long journey for Joseph with a lot of hairy situations. But his story reminds us that no matter what, God watches over us.